awesome. I was kind of struck as you guys were walking in the family shot, pretty comfortable in front of the camera. I mean, your whole lives, I guess, you've, you've grown up being kind of used to that. Uh, tell me a little bit about, about that part of your lives, like being not just David Suzuki's daughters, but also being very much in the public eye. What's that been like? Yeah, well, I mean, Dad has been doing the nature of things since before I was born. Mm -hmm. And so it just kind of was normal for us to have a camera around. When you eat food, how do you think you taste something in your mouth? With your tongue. With your tongue. Because David has always been off in the nature of things in various parts of the world, yes. you know, and sometimes we're able to tag along with him when we were younger, it's just kind of been part of our lives. Like You that, call him so. David? In and out, depending yeah. on the context, you know. my you sons know. sometimes call me Ian and I'm just like, what, really? Yeah, not to his face, but, yeah. <laughs> What and about for you? Well, this is our family's favorite shooting spot. Yeah. You know, this is where we come with film crews and bring people into a place that Sarik and I definitely grew up spending a lot of time here. And it's just part of our lives and now our children's lives. They've already been, you know, in B-roll of quite a few documentaries yeah. and it's, it's kind of what we do. And one thing I didn't realize, and David told me about this, is at one point somebody shot a bullet into your home when he was involved, I guess, in stories about logging. Mm -hmm. And one of the things he said is he was concerned most about someone harming you guys. Were you old enough at that point to know what was going on? I wasn't. Do you remember that? I, they definitely didn't let us in on that. I think we probably were old enough to have been pretty freaked out if we'd heard about that, but they definitely protected us from yeah. things like that. Flash forward to now when the David Suzuki Foundation, the DSF recently, has been targeted of some, you know, bomb threats. I mean, oh. they weren't realized, yeah. but, you know, I had to, you know, kind of navigate that last year. And when I talked to dad about it, he said, oh yeah, this is normal. Can you handle it? <laughs> so, and, and? Um, we came through it for so sure, it. so I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not pleasant, yeah. right? And then you, you, no. you, you have to ask yourself, what's real like how, how much of the threat is unpleasant mm -hmm. and how much is actually dangerous mm -hmm. right absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. and then there's also the just um, media can take it any which way mm -hmm. like darn I, media I, I, I mean <laughs> not your media but <laughs> yeah. um you know there was that whole thing about cbds and gummies and david suzuki it's I, selling and i oh, have right. so it's many so people high. my i won't say which relative but i have a relative who called me yeah. to say what is this about and is this something i should buy and i'm like look it up oh like, yeah no. everybody wants yeah. some yeah. wow so it's really shocking. no gummies like unfortunately <laughs> no i mean a lot of well-respected people have been saying where yeah. can i get some <laughs> My producers put pressure on me all the time to come up with something about interview subjects that will surprise the audience that they don't know about. So I'm going to ask each of you, and we'll finish with this, something about right. David, as you call him sometimes, that I <laughs> don't know. Forget, hey? <laughs> that, that I That I might be surprised about or that our audience should okay, know. Okay, well, one thing people might not know is that he's obsessed with doing the dishes. Ah. And... He will do the dishes all the like first thing in the morning. That's what he does, no matter what he has on for the day. He will take them out of the dishwasher to do the dishes. If someone snuck them in the dishwasher, he'll be up, he'll take them out. Yeah. So this so. compulsive washing is one of the many things that makes him different from me. What about <laughs> you? What's your story? Uh, he loves making pumpkin pies. Wow. He's passionate about pumpkin pies, and when he makes a pumpkin pie, he doesn't just make one; he makes six. Oh, so I love eating six. pumpkin pies, so yes. we do have a connection but there. But he grows his own pumpkins. Okay, okay. So He's a bit annoying, level. right? It's like a little bit? Well, are, are you he... competitive? <laughs> he doesn't he make a better. crust. This is important. He oh, grows you're pumpkins, but him. he doesn't make a crust. That's right. important, so you have a chance. <laughs> anyway, you guys are fantastic to speak with. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ian. Nice Thank to you so much. Thank you. Ian.